Are you looking for a merit badge to work on at summer camp? Are you a younger scout or do you know some younger scouts that need a merit badge for summer camp? Well, let me introduce you to the Nature Merit Badge. Now, the Nature Merit Badge only has four requirements, so it's fairly simple, and it's offered at practically every summer camp. So, let's take a look at those requirements. Requirement number one. Name three ways in which plants are important to animals. Name a plant that is important to animals that is protected in your state or region. And explain why it is at risk. So requirement number two states, name three ways in which animals are important to plants. Name an animal that is protected in your state or region and explain why it is at risk. Number three, explain the term food chain. Give an example of a four-step land food chain and a four-step water food chain. Now requirement number four, this is the big one. Requirement number four has eight areas. And you are supposed to pick five of those eight areas and complete all the requirements in each of those five areas. There's only, I believe, two in each. So it's not too hard, it just looks intimidating. But let's take a look at them. Birds. Number one, in the field, identify eight species of birds. Number two, Make and set out a birdhouse or a feeding station or a bird bath. List what birds used it during the period of one month. Mammals. Number one, in the field identify three species of wild mammals. Number two, make plaster casts of the tracks of a wild mammal. Reptiles and amphibians. Number one, Show that you can recognize the venomous snakes in your area. Number two, in the field, identify three species of reptiles or amphibians. And number three, recognize one species of toad or frog by voice. Or identify one reptile or amphibian by eggs, den, burrow, or other signs. Insects and spiders. Number one, Collect and identify, either in the field or through photographs, 10 species of insects or spiders. Number two, hatch an insect from the pupa or cocoon, or hatch adults from nymphs, or keep larvae until they form pupa or cocoons, or keep a colony of ants or bees through one season. Fish. My favorite. Number one, identify two species of fish native to your area. And two, collect four kinds of animal food eaten by fish in the wild. Mollusks and crustaceans. Number one, identify five species of mollusks and, cr and crustaceans. Number two, collect, mount, and label six shells. Plants. Number one, in the field, identify 15 species of wild plants. And number two, collect and label seeds of six plants or the leaves of 12 plants. Soil and rocks. Collect and identify soils found in different layers of a soil profile. And two, collect and identify five different types of rocks from your area. So that was a quick review of the requirements for the Nature Merit Badge. A fairly simple, straightforward merit badge that's great for younger scouts. Take a look at it this summer at your next summer camp. And remember, we'll scout you in.